Russia launched an exceptionally intense air attack on Kyiv in the early hours of Tuesday, which was described as the maximum number of attack missiles in the shortest period of time. Ukraine's commander-in-chief Valery Zaluzhny said Kyiv's defenders shot down 18 out of 18 Russian missiles and drones, including six Kinjala ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles, which are the most potent long-range weapon in the Kremlin's arsenal, nine caliber cruise missiles and three land-based ballistic missiles. Now, Russia's defense ministry said it has destroyed a U.S.-built Patriot surface-to-air missile defense system overnight with the hypersonic Kinjal missile attack on Ukraine. On Monday, the Institute for the Study of War said increasingly regular series of missile and drone strikes are likely a part of a new Russian air campaign in Ukraine aimed at degrading Ukrainian abilities to conduct counteroffensive operations in the near term. The Ukrainian officials acknowledged limited Ukrainian battlefield successes during recent localized counterattacks in and around Bakhmut. Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Maler stated on the 15th of May that the Ukrainian forces made unspecified advances in and around Bakhmut in the past several days. Maler added that Russian forces are deploying airborne forces to defend Bakhmut's flanks, presumably from other areas of the front, as they continue to launch ground assaults in and around Bakhmut. Ukrainian intelligence reported that approximately 152,000 Russian troops in southern Ukraine continue defensive efforts ahead of a possible Ukrainian counteroffensive. Ukrainian main military intelligence directorate representatives stated that Russian forces are not withdrawing from Zaporizhia and Kherson regions.